Good morning, everybody, and happy January the 4th. I can't believe we're four days into the new year already. It is going by so fast. If you want to see what all transpires today, just come on along. have been following the vlogs, then you know how extremely busy we've been. <laughs> I'll turn this camera around and show you what disaster our house is in right now. One old clothes rack is out here, still housing all those hangers, but we're about to say goodbye. You guys will remember back, I think it was during Vlogtober when this rack had broken and we kind of Fixed it up there with some duct tape and rope, but it held up pretty good to get us on through. We got the contents of some of Hub's little cubbies out here. There are some clothes that we can get rid of now and donate to the local thrift shop here in town. Look at all this stuff. That is the disaster from the Dollar Tree haul that I filmed for you guys last night. You will see that on the channel tomorrow. So now all of that stuff has to be put away. The hub still has tools out here because he hasn't had a chance to put those in the shed yet. The kitchen is pretty clean thanks to baby girl. She's been helping mom stay on top of things. Oh my goodness. Check out this office. You guys have seen this. It is still a disaster. So this is number one on my list today. I've got to get in there. And then in here, I've got my cubbies still sitting everywhere. A pile of clothes that now we can probably pack up to put out in the shed. Of course, the bathroom is clean. It pretty much stays clean all the time. And you guys have seen the new closet. And it is clean and all in order. Except for now, just organizing those cubbies and figuring out what we want to do with that. But this house is a disaster. Mommy hasn't been home to take care of it. So let's get in there and tackle that office, shall we? Well, Hubs is home from the first full day in the new office. A lot of them have left you. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Been able to read some of them to you, but not all of them yet because we've just been so busy. But... He will get to all of them. I promise you he will see every kind word that you guys have left him. And a lot of them wished you some well wishes for the day. So I thought maybe we should tell them how the day went. Uh, it went good. It was very busy. A lot of people kind of coming and going. And had a little glitches, a couple glitches with my computer. But got that ironed out and didn't get enough done that I wanted to. But... There's always tomorrow. Kind of like work has been put off hold till you get all set back up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, you think you're going to like it back up there at the main office? I am. I don't think a lot of them know that you worked at the main office for a long time before you switched to your West District. For years. Years. Yeah. yeah. Because you actually were over, you were over, not human resources, but what, what were you, special, special services? Is that what well, it was before, called? But before that, I was the assistant director of law enforcement. Yeah, he was the assistant director of law enforcement for a while. And then got promoted. And then you were promoted to head of, was it special services, is that what it's called? Yeah. And what all did that entail? Like That covered animal control. It covered our public service aides. It covered fleet maintenance, uniform and supply, records, and our civil deputies kind of all the things that aren't necessarily law, law enforcement. enforcement related right and so then they had elected a new sheriff at the time yeah no eight and sometimes the new sheriff likes to do favors for friends yeah <laughs> and so you got moved around and shuffled a little bit yeah and so that's whenever he became the commander for the west district which they never really looked at that as a demotion, but as far as title, it was. Yeah, went from a major to a captain. Yeah, he went from being a major over special services back to being a captain on the road over law enforcement. So, uh, it, but it worked out good. You've been out here for seven years yeah. and working in your district office, I mean, and that went well. It was close to home. Yeah. So that was nice. It was pretty close to home. So that was really, so that's going to be a little bit of an adjustment for us. Yeah. It'll be a little bit of an adjustment having him further from home now. But um, anyway, back at the main office, and now you get to direct law enforcement. 
the best I can. <laughs> a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Very time consuming. Yeah. A whole so. lot going on, especially with all the transition stuff. Yeah. Yeah, when you get a new sheriff, everything kind of transitions. I was telling them about how everybody has to be resworn in yep. and all that kind of stuff, and they become an employee of the new sheriff. Right. And so, but this, the, the new sheriff, we're excited about that. He's worked there for quite a while. And he grew up here, so he knows the county very well, and he knows a lot of the guys, and the, a lot of the guys are very, very confident with him because they've worked with him. So it's not like sometimes when you got a stranger from the outside coming in. Right. And there's a, a huge swing in, in optimism and morale because people are very optimistic about some changes that are going to be up and coming. Yeah. Yeah, because morale had kind of gotten a little low. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, yeah, it was pretty bad. morale had gotten pretty low with the guys. And so it's kind of like a breath of fresh air everybody feels. So there's excitement in the air. So it'll be fun to see how all that plays out. Yep. But anyway, I just thought they probably would want to hear from you because I've been having congratulations come in all day for you. Thank you again. Yeah, thank you guys. You guys have been so supportive of our family and of the transitions and all that kind of stuff. A lot of people have been sending up prayers for your biopsy. Cool. We Let's still do don't know the result of that. We'll let you know as soon as we get it. They said within seven days. Yep. So that's we could have Friday. up till Friday before they actually call. So in my experience, no news yet is good news. Yeah, because they wanted your dad in like the next day. Oh, yeah. Whenever they found a melanoma on my dad. And the funny thing about that one was it was just a spot like right about here on his face. She wasn't even real concerned about it, kind of skipped over it. And she kept coming back to it, and finally she said, mm, maybe we better just check that. The, it was growing inside. What did Mom call that the other day? Like when it grows under the surface. I don't remember. I don't remember how she explained it. But anyway, it was like growing inside, and it was like just a centimeter or so away from being really bad, like life-threatening bad. So it was a good thing they called it when they did, but they called him like the next day and said, we want you in here now. Yep. <laughs> so they, they fortunately, they were able to do it at the skin surgery center, but if it had been just one more centimeter, they would have had to send him up to, what, did he call it Moffitt? Yep. I think it's called Moffitt. It's a cancer institute. So anyway, I'm kind of thinking no news is good news. Yeah. Well, she didn't act real concerned no. by the look of it. She didn't think that it probably was anything, but it's always better to have it tested because you just never know why sometimes growths will come up. So anyway, they've been praying for you. Well, thank you. Yeah. I think we, I got my uh, maybe a little mini fan club. I know, right? <laughs> one, one, of the, one of the ladies on here told me the other night, she says, and I haven't gotten a chance to respond to all y'all's comments yet. I'm working my way down the list, but I am reading them as they come in. And she told me, I better take care of you because they have a crush on you. You've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So, anyway, but it's getting pretty late, and Hubs is actually fixing a head to bed. I've got some more cleaning. I've shown you what I've been doing all day. Got a few more bills to pay, but I wanted you to let them know how your first day went because they've been thinking about you. Yep. It was good. <laughs> Busy. All right. He will see you later, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Look what I'm about to indulge in, you guys. A Hershey's Kiss. I had mentioned in one of the videos, can't remember if it was a vlog or a haul, about the fact that our church will be starting a 21-day fast starting tomorrow. We will be participating with them and doing a Daniel's fast, which is going to be fruit and vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains, all that kind of stuff. No meats, no sugar, no dairy, none of that for 21 days to ring in the new year. So, Mama taking advantage of the chocolate tonight. Well, I've made a little headway in there. I worked in there for a couple of hours today, you guys. I made some headway. It got started on paying all those bills and all that kind of fun stuff. Cleaned up out here in the living room just a little bit, but so much stuff that we've got to pack away with the Christmas stuff. It just don't even look organized right now. But anyway, then I lay down and took a little bit of a nap. I had another night where I could not sleep. As a matter of fact, I did not go to bed until 9 a.m. 
<laughs> and then I only laid down till about 10.30 and was right back up. I don't know what is going on with my sleep lately. I have never, ever, ever, ever had problems with sleeping except just that one time during the summer that I had told you guys about. So anyway, I laid down just a little bit this afternoon or this evening and took me a little bit of a nap and it felt so good and now I feel good and I don't know, maybe my body is just trying to catch up from all the chaos and the busyness that we've been through the last couple months but nonetheless I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night you guys not a lot to show you today just one of those days where you got to catch up on housework kind of a boring ho-hum kind of day but anyway want to thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow oh and don't forget I did post a very special thank you video that's gonna explain to you guys all about those code words you were saving up during vlogmas so be sure to go check that out all right we'll see you again in the next video